Hi, I'm Dara from Express Bears and welcome to another one of our drivetrain videos. So today we're looking at self-adjusting clutches and we're helping you identify the three most common types that we come across. There are a lot of advantages of self-adjusting type clutches which include shorter pedal travel, low release loads and simplified release system layout. This is why many vehicle manufacturers are opting to use them over conventional clutches. So here we have three different types of self-adjusting clutch pressure plates, each manufactured by a different OEM. The one on my right here is a Valio unit and the self-adjusting aspect of it is easily identifiable by this cutout here in the pressure plate. Behind this tab here you'll see a worm gear also and this is the technology that Valio use to do their self-adjusting. The LUK unit is probably the most easily identifiable in that it uses three luminous yellow external springs here which are an essential part of the technology used by Scheffler in their self-adjusting clutches. And lastly the SAX unit. Now the SAX self-adjusting clutches normally use this riveted limit stop. Uh, again they use springs similar to LUK but the springs are internal on the SAX units and you'll also see that it has the letter E E for extend, which is what SACs call their self-adjusting clutches. Now all types of self-adjusting clutches must be fitted using the appropriate tools. Failure to do this can result in warping of the pressure plate, which can lead to release issues after fitting. You can purchase a self-adjusting clutch tool on our website drivetrain.ie. We stock both the laser and the LUK versions.